Sore knees, aching shoulders, and a bad back. Finding relief from your pain is easier and quicker than you might think. It's the latest and coolest trend in healing. It's called whole body cryotherapy. Former Texas Tech football star is pioneering the technique right here in San Antonio. We got a chance to see the miracle machine in action with a local NFL player for his very first treatment. An ice bath is to cryotherapy what a nap is to a full night's sleep. Meet the modern day version of the ice bath for athletes. It's called the whole body cryotherapy chamber. It was first introduced in the, in the 70s by Dr. Yamaguchi in Japan. He created it specifically for his rheumatoid arthritic patients so that manipulation of the joints after a cryotherapy session would be less painful. But where it helps the athlete is speed up recovery from injuries, bumps and bruises, strains and sprains. But here's the catch. It's not just for the athlete. They've discovered even more uses for cryotherapy. We've seen patients with osteoarthritis. We've seen patients with rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia. Obviously our athletes who are wanting to get into the chamber to speed recovery decrease muscle soreness, uh, but really any inflammatory disorder uh, can really benefit from it, as well as skin disorders. So sometimes we've seen results with psoriasis and dermatitis because of the effects on the skin. Brock Stratton should know about recovering from injuries. He dished out some hard hits and taken his fair share on the football field. For graduating from Roosevelt, he suited up for the Texas Tech Red Raiders as a linebacker. If you want to watch the temperature, you can. Right there, that's in Celsius. So on this particular day at the Stratton Sport and Spine, former Smithson Valley, now Minnesota Vikings safety Andrew Zendeo joined us to give the whole body cryotherapy chamber a whirl. Go ahead and turn all the way this way, Andrew, facing the unit. As you go into the chamber, you're exposed to such cold temperatures. That's what it's like in Minnesota right now. <laughs> Receptors on the skin send a signal to the brain letting you know you need to go into survival mode. And so, in a nutshell, the blood is rapidly sent to your core in order to protect your vital organs. And so while there, you, you pick up fresh enzymes, nutrients, and oxygen so that as you step out of the chamber, you immediately have what's called a vasodilation rebound. So those blood vessels that rapidly constricted now rapidly open up and send all of those healthy red blood cells throughout the rest of your body. You know, I feel good now after getting out of it. Um, as opposed to when you get out of an ice bath, your body temperature drops so low that you know, you're practically freezing when you get out. And now I feel great.